And we are back on Sportsman Radio. I'm your host, Chris Schenfeld, and I am now joined by rookie cornerback for the Arizona Cardinals out of San Jose State University, Ronnie Yell. Thanks for joining the show tonight, Ronnie. How's it going? Hi, right, man. Everything's going, going well, man. Just enjoying this day. Uh, enjoying the rest of this day off after workouts this morning. Everything's going good, man. Hey, that sounds good. That sounds good. Now, Ronnie, I want to start this interview off by talking about your college days. I know you're from San Diego, California, but why did you decide to uh, attend San Jose State University? Um, uh, I actually chose to attend San Jose State because of the because of the coach. Uh, I was uh, I had a mini scholarship offer my senior year. Could have could have won many different places. Uh, could have stayed home. I got offered by SJSU my junior year and. Uh, I chose to go to San Jose State. I just wanted to get away from home but not be too far so the family could make the games and stuff like that. And uh, also also for Coach uh, Keith Burns and Coach Dick Tony. They were two, two good coaches that were really in my corner and uh, it seemed like they were really in the best of my interests as far as uh, my education as well as football. So that's why I chose to go to San Jose State. Now, in 2009, which was your freshman year, you actually seen a lot of time on the football field as you played in 10 games, starting in the last six of those. Uh, before coming to SJSU, did you know that you would be getting as much playing time as you got that first year? Um, I, I didn't know I would be getting that much playing time, but I did have an have a idea that uh, it would be possible for me to play. Uh, that was a big thing in my in making coming out of high school. And, uh, Coach Keith Burns told me right away that... Uh, his freshmen aren't, aren't just those type of guys who are instant registers out of high school. He gives everybody a fair chance to play, and uh, he gave me that fair chance, and I took advantage of it. Now, tell us about that first college interception that you got. Oh, man, it, 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 it was phenomenal, man. It was, it was very exciting. I had been, been waiting to get one, and uh, when I got it, I just, I just had to act like I'd been there before. I uh, got my hands on it, and uh, just made, made what I do what I do, man. It was, it was a great experience, and uh, it, it felt good to get that first one out of the way. Now, Ryan, I'm going to fast forward uh, quite a bit right here and ask you if you ever thought about entering the NFL after your junior year of high school instead of your, I'm sorry, after your junior year of college instead of your senior year. Uh, actually, uh, actually, I did. Uh, that was actually something a lot of coaches have been talking to me about. Uh, a couple of a couple of teams uh, had contacted me and talked to me about the same thing as well. And uh, I had talked to my mom and my family about it as well. But uh, I decided to stay just so I could go ahead and start getting that education. But it, it was actually a big a big thing in, in my life at that time because I did think about coming out my junior year because I had a, I had a really good like, uh, junior season and. Uh, it seemed like a good decision at the time, but uh, uh, out of my best interest, I just stayed in with other friends and finished up into my degree. Well, would you say that was one of the hardest decisions you had to make so far? Um, uh, not necessarily because uh, um, overall, I thought I would still be able to get a shot just as long as I stay consistent and uh, play within my means my senior year and keep uh, producing uh, as I did. But uh, it, it was a big decision, but uh, looking back on it, now that I have my degree, and uh, it, it, it was actually a good decision. So I got knocked out two, two birds in one stone. <laughs> well, yeah, like, like you said, you did stay your senior year, and I'll go ahead and ask you, uh, how do you, how do you, Ronnie Yell, feel you did just this past season at San Jose State University? Uh, as far as my game plan, I felt like I thought I did uh, really well. I think I could have did a little better. You know, as far as a couple, a couple of more plays and a, a little more production, but uh, I didn't get a little, too many balls this season, maybe, maybe because of film from other teams and stuff like that. But uh, a lot of a lot of the games, I took advantage of all my opportunities, and I think uh, overall the season went really well, especially with the fans we had. And how would you describe your overall college experience? Uh, my overall college experience was great, man. Uh, just just seeing myself grow from from a freshman to a senior. Uh, Grow as, a, grow as a competitor, as a playmaker, as a leader, not really vocally, but as a leader on the field to, to my fellow teammates and uh, a, couple, a lot of the young guys coming in. And uh, I feel overall my experience at SDSU, it was a great one. And uh, I wouldn't I will regret it for, for anything. Ronnie, you entered the 2013 NFL draft and went undrafted. Did you expect to be drafted at some point during the draft? Yeah, I 
I was expecting it to get drafted in the later rounds, you know, on, on day three. And uh, when that didn't happen, it, it was, I mean, it was kind of, you know, it was kind of a humbling experience, and it was also just a, you know, a big, a big step that I had to take. And uh, I mean, actually, even thinking that I may not get a shot in the NFL, but uh, the Cardinals actually took a chance on me. Uh, they have been talking to me for a long time, actually, and uh, shown a lot of interest in the All Star game I played in. And uh, they glad to took a chance on me, and, and they won't regret that. And, and I gotta think that has to feel pretty good to know that the Arizona Cardinals had a lot of interest in you. Is that right? Uh, it, it, it felt great. It, it was great to know. I mean, they, they were one of the teams that were actually consistently talking to me on, you know, on a weekly basis, and even all the way up to draft day, they they told me to stay by my by my phone and whatnot. And uh, it, it, it felt really good that you know a team out there was really interested in me and uh, they wanted to have on that team this year. And can you tell us a little bit about that final phone call that you received by the Arizona Cardinals that uh, when, when you found out that you'd be joining the team? Yeah, man, it actually came during the seventh round. Uh, right right as the seventh round was ending, I, I got the phone call uh, from my agent. And he told me that uh, Arizona Cardinals had an offer on the table for me, and they, uh, they wanted me to sign. I actually had three, I had like three or four teams. And uh, but I, but me and my agent decided that the Cardinals were, were the best choice because they uh, they seem like they're most inter- interested in me since they have been talking to me for a long time now and uh, uh we felt it was the best fit and when I finally got that car I didn't have no hesitation I went ahead and said let's do it. And, of course, you signed the NFL contract with the Arizona Cardinals. You put on that number 43 Cardinals jersey for the first time. Can you tell us a little bit about that and what it was like to uh, do all that? I got to think it was, it was like a dream come true. I mean, yeah, you took the words out of my mouth, man. It was a dream come true. I mean, from, from when I was younger, man, playing Pop Warner days to high school days to college days, I always dreamed about being in the NFL. And uh, when I finally put on that jersey, it, it, it finally hit me. I was actually living, making my dream come true. It, it, it just feels great, and I, I thank God every day for it. Well, recently you guys had rookie mini camp. Obviously, you guys had a great draft. I really feel you guys did uh, really good in the NFL draft, one of the best. How'd those uh, rookie mini camp practices go, Ronnie? Oh man, what you what you mean? Camp practice were actually uh, they're actually pretty cool. Uh, nothing nothing too hard. Uh, nothing too nothing too out of my league or anything like that. The, the biggest thing was just adapting and uh, learning the playbook. A big thing that you have to learn when you come into the league is I mean uh, everyone's talented or they wouldn't be here. And, uh, you have to learn the playbook first, man. Is that it's a it's a better shot at. At playing at this level, and that that was a big thing coming in the week camp was learning the playbook. And uh, after after you learn that, it was all about football. And we all want to do that. So mm-hmm. after I got a grasp of that playbook, uh, everything else came pretty easy. Just uh, did what I did best and played ball. Chris Shanfell here talking with Arizona Cardinals rookie cornerback Ronnie Lott. Ronnie, I'm sorry, Ronnie. Yeah, blah. <laughs> Ronnie, you're a part of the secondary, and I'm a fan of it. I really love it, and I I'm actually a pretty big fan of. Uh, uh, a guy that you might know, Tyran Matthew, the Honey Badger. Uh, I gotta ask you this: How, How's he looking? Oh man, he, he, he looks phenomenal, man. I mean, uh, the hype, the hype is, uh, the hype is all true. It, it's nothing about this kid that, that he can't do. He's athletic, and overall, he, he, he's a great person. You know, uh, me and him actually really close. Uh, we came, came good friends as, as we kept ended going into OTAs and. Uh, He's actually a really good dude, but uh, on the film, man, he's a playmaker. He's athletic. He uh, he knows his stuff, and he he's out there for one reason: to make plays. And he's already done that. Yeah, I, I, uh, from a few a few years down the road, do you think we're going to be talking about this guy being a steal in the NFL draft? Oh, oh, oh most definitely. I, I think a lot of teams uh, missed out on him. You know, letting him go as late as we did. Uh, you know, his his off the field issues, whatever they may be. Uh, the Cardinals are able to look past that. They gave him a chance, and I think I think it was a phenomenal choice. And I think he'll be in this league for a long time with his, with his ability, his, with his smartness uh, through the game, and uh, actually just being a, the good guy that he is, they'll be here for a long time. 
Yeah, man, I, I agree. I mean, see, Ronnie, I, I'm a Chicago Bears fan, and I wasn't too uh, thrilled with what the Bears did in the first round. I, I liked what they did uh, in the second, third, and so on. But uh, drafting an offensive guard in the first round, I didn't feel that was an absolute need. But uh, I, and I'm not saying, maybe, I mean, maybe Tyran Matthew could have or, or should have gone in the first round. We'll see that uh, in the future. But I I wouldn't have minded if my Chicago Bears would have taken a chance on Tyran Matthew. I think he has a lot of potential, and he's going to make a name for himself in the uh, NFL. But back to you, Ronnie. OTAs have began. Uh, you guys are working out with the veterans, practicing with the veterans. How are those going? Uh, that's, that's actually going great, man. Uh, the good thing is, with Ricky Chow, we got all the, the whole playbook thrown at it, so we had all, like, all week. You know, the rookie camp also the next week to get uh get acquainted with the playbook. And uh once we start OTAs we already we already in the game. So we we knew the playbook and, and once we started OTAs with the vets, it was it was all about playing and it was all about you know, going out there and show you can play with these guys and it, it actually was really fun. Uh, the experience was great. Uh, playing against guys you watch on T V all the time, man, it was it was a mind blowing experience and uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it every single day. What can the Arizona Cardinals and fans all around the world expect out of the rookie cornerback out of San Jose State University, Ronnie Yell? Oh man, I, uh, from the get go, you're you going to expect the, the same player on the field and, and a great guy off the field. I'm always going to work hard, man. I'm always going to get, get everything I got. Uh, wherever I'm playing, if it's on special teams, if it's in a starting role, if it's, if it's uh, off the field, you know. Signing autographs or, or just doing interviews, man. You know, you're gonna expect to get that same person who's a good guy, and uh, I'm gonna re represent the organization in, in a great manner. Hey, that sounds great, man. And once again, I really do appreciate your time uh, for the interview. Now, the Cardinals, they're obviously a very good team. They had a very good defense, and and, uh, and the offense did struggle a bit last season, but you guys added some pieces, and, man, you guys are going to be good. Uh, I mean, you guys are really going to be good, I feel. You guys are going to surprise many people. I know the Seahawks and 49ers get a lot of attention in the NFC West, but uh, I think you guys are going to uh, surprise many people. Now, Ronnie, are you, I got to think you're excited for training camp and uh, the season's, season to start. Is that right? Oh man, yes, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is what I've been waiting for my whole life. Uh, I'm gonna finally get to show show my uh, talent and ability on the, on the highest stage of the sport and uh, show the world what I want to be able to do. And I'm very excited for that, and I can't wait to can't wait to get this train going now. Hey, man, I'm excited to see you. Now, Ryan, before I let you go, I have just a few quick, fun uh, questions to get to know you a bit, and then I'll let you go. Does that sound good? All right, All right that sounds perfect. All right, Ronnie, what's your favorite TV show and movie? Uh, I'll have to say my, my favorite movie is uh, Love and Basketball with Omar Epps. Uh, that's definitely my favorite movie. My favorite TV show, uh, I don't really have a favorite TV show. I pretty much watch, you know, everything, but uh, I don't really have one specific one. All right, all right. Favorite thing to eat? My uh, favorite thing to eat, hands down, is fried chicken and french fries. <laughs> Can't go wrong with that, man. I love me some buffalo chicken. Man, <laughs> favorite thing to do in your free time? Uh, I like to go to the movies. I like to see a lot of movies. Actually, uh, all the, all the movie releases. I, I take uh, I take consideration and seeing, and the ones that look good, I, I go to the see. Them. All the time, and uh, uh, all the favorite movies. I like you know in the mall, hitting those outlets, and all that stuff, and, and shopping, man. I, that's a big thing I like to do, and uh, also, man, it's just spend time with my family. My family is a big part of my life, so whenever I get a, time, a chance to spend time with my family, that's that's, uh, that's what I love doing. Except for football, what is your favorite sport? Uh, basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport besides football. I played it, played it all year in high school, and I actually had a couple of scholarship offers out, out of high school to play basketball as well. But, uh, yeah, besides football, it will have to be basketball. Oh, man, next, whenever you come out to Chicago, man, I'm going to have to get you in a one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, man, that, that sounds great. <laughs> All right, you're on Twitter at R underscore Yell 25. Why do you make it important to connect with your fans, man? I mean, if it wasn't for Twitter or social media, uh, you wouldn't really be on the show right now, so I really do appreciate that. Oh, yeah, I, I appreciate that as well. But, I, I mean... I mean, it's important, it's important for me to connect with my fans just so they can also see the person, you know, outside of the football, outside of the football world. I, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm a great person.
and I like to get, I get along with everyone. Uh, you never have a hard time with me, and I also, I mean, I'm not, I'm not one of those guys who to shy away from fans or ignore fans. If they have a question, I'd be glad to answer it on any social network. I'm a pretty open guy, pretty easy to get along with guys. So I think my social network helps me connect with my fans and uh, allow them, if they want to ask questions, to go ahead and allow me to just share my thoughts on, on those social networks sometimes and let them get, get to know me a little more as well. If you would compare yourself to a cornerback currently in the NFL, who would that be and why? Uh, I would definitely have to say it's not Samuel from the front of Falcons. I, I say him because, I mean, he's very instinctive, he's very quick, and uh, like myself, I'm very instinctive. He's a, he's a big play, play taker, he uh, takes a lot of risks, and I, I, I like to compare my game to him. He, he'll go in there and put his nose in there on those big guys and chop him down on the outside. He uh, stick his head on a regular tackle, and uh, he, he's, a, he's a playmaker, man. He, he goes get that, but he goes and gets the ball every year, and uh, I think I'm something like him. Hey, man, and you both got the speed. I mean, we know the speed that Asante Samuel has, and uh, you, you are a former kick return and uh, pun return specialist. Uh, yeah, I, I love those special teams, and I got that ball in my hand and taking back to my office today, so <laughs> I definitely love it. Uh, I definitely love it. All right, last but not least, what is something about Ronnie Yell that many people don't know about? Uh, let's see. Something about me that many people don't know about. Uh, well, uh, I have to say something about me that many people don't know about. It's probably uh, in, my, in, my junior, in my junior year of high school, my father figure, uh, my grandfather, he passed away with the cancer, which was a big hit on, like, a big hit on me. And uh, that was actually something that, motivated me and uh, pushed me more to pursue my dreams of playing, playing this game. And he, he's a big reason that uh, I play this game today, and he's also a big reason why uh, I grew my jet locks and grown, and are going to keep growing them very long. So uh, my, I, that's probably something a lot of people don't know about me. All right, that, that's pretty interesting, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I know for a fact that he's looking down, and he's he's very proud of you, man. I'm very excited to see what you could do with the Arizona Cardinals and in the NFL. Uh, Ronnie, I can't thank you enough for your time. Before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to plug on there for myself and our listeners? I just, I just like to say I, I appreciate you having me on the show. It was a great opportunity. Uh, I love doing things like this for people like you, great people. Uh, I was just, I'm, I'm glad to share my story with you today and uh, watch out for the year because we're going to be something, something to watch out for, man. Hey, man, I appreciate it. Hashtag Bird Gang, right? <laughs> Hashtag Bird Gang. <laughs> hey, man, take care. Best of luck. I uh, oh, appreciate that. Thank you.